Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I got a pretty awesome video for you guys. This is a simple Windows Seven theme review. So basically, today I want to show you guys a Windows Seven theme. If you're running Windows Eight, this theme will not work. So do not try installing this theme, or you could possibly mess up your system. So unless you're running Windows Seven, do not try this theme at all. So go to the, if you go to the link below, it'll be to the official page of this theme right here and from here you, we, on this page you can support the developer as well as download it from the link on the top right hand side which is right here so you can click that and get the download it's a pretty small download and it's a pretty nice theme and if you don't like the theme from the picture then you'll have to download it once you download it you'll get the folder and in here we have everything we need to get started what you want to do though is download a, another file that I have below that. It's a zip file. When you extract it, you'll get a install and uninstall. You can get rid of the uninstall, which all you need is the install version, which is install take ownership. Double click that. Click run. Click yes. Click yes. And OK. So this does it allows you to take ownership of anything you don't have ownership of or full rights of. So basically, if you try and edit a system file, it's going to tell you that you cannot edit it because you don't have the proper permissions. So what you can do is just right click on it and you have the ability to take ownership. You can click on that, click yes. A black box comes up and then boom, you have full ownership of that folder. So this is good when you're editing system files. So what you want to do now though is go to your start orb and right click on computer and check out your system. So this is a virtual machine for me and me I'm running 64 bit windows. So remember if you have a 64 bit or 32 bit. Then open up the resources folder, open up the one that corresponds to your system and then just right click the file in there and click copy. What you want to do now is just right click on local disk, open a new window. Then what you want to do is just pin on the sides here. On this side here, go to Windows, press EX on the keyboard quickly. That will bring you to the Explorer area. And what you want to do then is just right click that. And you click take ownership. I already have ownership of the file, so it is actually it actually will not come up for me. But for you, just right click take ownership, and there you go. After that, click rename. And I'll name it Explorer Backup. Click enter. And you should have no problem renaming the file. Now what you want to do is just click somewhere else and paste it in. Click continue. Click yes if anything comes up. Boom, now we're done installing that. So what we can do now is scroll up and then go to the folder called resources. Then open up the themes folder. Then take the bottom folder and drop it there. Click continue. Then take the top folder as well as drag it to the bottom. Again, click on yes for anything that comes up. Once it is pasted in there, you can exit out everything, right click the desktop, go to personalize. Then you see clear screen sharp. And there we go, it has been applied. Now for the full look, what you want to do is go to your thing here and then just restart the computer. Now by restarting the computer, what it's going to do is restart Explorer, which is going to give you that whole new reload version of Explorer that we pasted in there. So that's just going to simply allow it to reboot and reload that file. All right, so we are back now with the rebooted system. And as you can tell, we are good to go with the theme. So I'll show you guys some of the features we get. So we get a pretty slate background from, for me at least. Um, you can obviously change that very easily to your own. So I would suggest doing that, but we get a cool, um, different, a right click menu. So it's kind of more 
slated feel to it and a little more blurred as well. We get a custom starter that lights up as you go over it. Click on that and we have a very similar look to the original windows except it's a bit colored. So this is pretty cool for people who don't want a too flashy theme but still want something on their computer. So it's going to give you a white look so it doesn't interfere with words or anything. But we do get the um, dark blue or blackish feel on this right hand side as well as you can tell when you go over a fo um, folder file it kind of highlights in that um, gradient feel. Opening up um, Explorer here we have custom minimize, maximize and close buttons. Those are actually really cool buttons in my opinion. I like I do like them a lot and that is pretty much it. So there are custom highlighting options here as you can tell kind of highlights in a very sl very um, sleek blue but besides that it's a very simple theme and we do have our custom blue here but it's a very simple theme guys and it's pretty cool though so anyway guys that is it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like if any questions comments or concerns leave them below as well thanks for watching and leave a comment below if you liked the video and of course happy hacking this is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off